Hey YouTubers, Vince Romano 26 here and I have an estate sale haul for you today. For those of you who watched my periscopes, you know that there was an estate sale taking place next door from a neighbor who passed away. Was a little leery about going over there as you may know because he was a neighbor and you know I didn't want it to be awkward. Thankfully it wasn't and once everyone, all the family members found out who I was, it got really, it got less and less awkward and we talked and you know we talked about the past because my dad and his brother grew up with these people. They were in the neighborhood before my dad and uh, my grandparents. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my grandparents moved to this house that we are in now in 1973 and I think that the neighbors moved there in 68, 69. So they so they were there a few years before my grandparents. Um, there are two things in here that I did not get at an estate sale. Like, technically, they came from one, but I didn't get it from there. My dad did. And I thought I would show you all what I got. Um, for the... For all the little things that you see here, like the DVDs, the dog tags... This isn't really in the camera very well. All the stuff that you see here, minus the two holiday pieces, Everything here was um, 76 cents a piece. Every I spent $20 at this estate sale, so I got everything really dirt cheap. I'm going to start off with the stuff that my dad found me at another estate sale. Those of you who know, I really like my vintage holiday decor, and this is a vintage Easter candy decor. Uh, candy decor. Candy holder. I think it's stamped Hong Kong somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. I know these were very, very popular in the 50s and 60s. I think I have one in pink. Yeah, I have one in pink, and now I have one in yellow, which is great, because I can add to it. So that was actually thrown in free with the next item that I'm going to show you. Okay, the next item that I want to show you all is this really awesome vintage Paramount Santa reindeer sled, and it plays the song Jingle Bells. It does work. My dad did pay up on this. He paid $15 for it. I haven't seen any of these on eBay, nor have I seen them with the original box. I might have to do a little bit more research just to see if I can find it somewhere. It is missing Santa's head over here, but it's in the original box. It works, and I can't wait to use it this Christmas season. My only problem is, is where the heck am I going to put my tree now? Because I don't have any more room. And if you guys hear a motor running, I apologize. That's the rain lamp that I just turned on. I always forget to turn it on. So that was neat. All right, now let's get to the estate sale stuff. And you can probably hear Jingle Bells playing right now. So this is a metal um, goggles case. Again, it was 76 cents. And inside it were these glasses. And they have one of the guy's names um, carved into it. If you guys can see, it says Steve up there. That's one of the uh, kids' names, growing up kids. And they're made by the American Optical Company, four and a half. I'm going to look these glasses up just to see if they're worth anything. Maybe I'll sell the case. Or maybe I'll give it to Dirt and Rust if he wants it. So Adam, if you're watching this, please let me know if you want this goggles case. Because I'll be more than happy to sell it to you. Sell it to you. Give it to you. Or I could just send you a text message. Alright, this is actually from the gentleman's brother. His name was Thomas Scott. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Come on, focus, focus. Come on. Yes, the gentleman's name was Thomas Scott. It just has his um, blood type number. He was a Catholic preacher in the army back in probably Vietnam or Korea. I can't remember what they said. Before I put these in my bag, I asked all of the siblings who were there if they wanted these, and they said no, it was okay because they grabbed the important ones out of their dad's military chest, which I'm glad that they did. Alright, uh, the next three items that I'm going to show you are classic movies that I found. They actually had a whole box of them, and I didn't get, really get a chance to look through them because I was like, oh, they're going to be modern movies. So I was like, eh, I, I shouldn't dig through them. But I kind of regret it now because I found some really good titles. The very first one that I want to show you is a copy of The Maltese Falcon, which is a Humphrey Bogart movie that came out in 1941. And it stars Humphrey Bogart, of course, and Mary Astor. I don't know if I said this in any of my previous videos, but my grandmother was a huge Humphrey Bogart fan. Like, she loved him. And um, when we moved into the house, she had a bunch of um, Humphrey Bogart um, like music sheets and um, 
reproduction movie posters and things like that hanging in the family room. And the Maltese Falcon was one of the uh, posters that she had. So I, again, I paid 76 cents for it. It's brand new and sealed, so I'm going to be the very first one to watch this. Again, it's from 1941. There is another movie that I want to see that he did with um, Swedish babe Ingrid Bergman, or at least that's what I call her, because she was a very, very pretty woman. So I want to see this this movie, and I definitely want to see Casablanca, just to see what romance movies were like in those days. Because, I mean, a romance movie today and a romance movie in the 40s are completely different. The next one is a very, very iconic movie from 1961 called Breakfast at Tiffany's. I heard it's one of Audrey Hepburn's best films. And it's in really, really good condition. Like, I think he watched it maybe a couple times and didn't get a, any other time to watch it. He was an avid garage sailor, too. So, I mean, he knew how to get stuff cheap. And it, it kept him going. This gentleman lived to be 91 years old. So it stars, stars, stars Audrey Hepburn and George Peppard. 1961. I can't wait to watch this. I heard this is one of her good films. And the last one is a Steve McQueen movie called Bullet, starring Robert Vaughn, Jacqueline Rizet, Bizet, Don Gordon, Robert Duvall, Simon Oakland, and Norman Fell. It came out in 1968. Now, I'm only going to show you one of these items because I have four of them. It's these frames, and they kind of have a warped look to them. Either someone painted them, or I don't know what they did to them. But they're very, very cool, and my mom said she can definitely use them. I think he must have bought them at a garage sale because there's a price tag on them for 50 cents. I paid 76 cents, but that's okay. And my mom said she can definitely use these because these are definitely the thing, kind of things she likes to look for when she's out. Alright, and for those of you who don't know this, I have an obsession with old kitchen clocks, and this one was in the basement. This one's from the 1960s. It's made by West Clocks Electric. Again, it was 76 cents. It does have a scratch, or cr actually it's a crack, whoop. But that's okay. Again, I paid 76 cents for it. It works. I actually unplugged it at this time, so that's the time that I bought it, and I stuck it in a, ba in a bag. So I'm going to hang that up. And originally this clock was $5.98. I think it's from the 60s, or the 70s. So I have a couple of them that have some issues up, um, that are hanging up above my closet, but that's okay, because you can't really tell from a distance. I just use them as kind of like a crown molding kind of thing. And the last item that I want to show you, if I don't kick over my stand here, is this really neat looking paper mache duck. I think it's a decoy. And it's, again, it's made of paper mache. And you can tell that this thing is old. I don't want to push into it too much, because it it's got stuff in it, and it looks like somebody took a couple of bullets to it. <laughs> you shake it around. It does have some issues, as I can say. It's dented in there. It's got caved in there. But he's still really, really cool, and again, he was only 76 cents, so I wasn't going to pass him up on this, because I thought that was really neat. Don't know exactly where I'm going to put him, as with most of my other merchandise that I have. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to him, and I'll see what I do with him, because I think he's really, really cool. I think he's a mallard. If I'm correct. So I thought that was neat. And yeah, that's all of the vintage stuff that I have acquired in the last uh, about week. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Follow me on Periscope at Vince Romano for thrifting adventures, flea market adventures, and just daily life stuff. And I do want to let you all know, I'm getting very close to 500 subscribers. So please subscribe because that means I get to do another $25 gift card giveaway. So please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thank you all for watching.